The Sky Tower is the highest observation tower in Singapore. It takes seven minutes to travel 50 stories to the top. The view never fails to excite Alexander Melchers. Two bridges. It's fantastic. There's construction going on everywhere. There's no slowdown here. Singapore is a city characterized by dynamism and change, particularly in the last 15 years since I've been here. When I came, there wasn't a casino or Grand Prix Motorsport or the convention center. That's all developed since. This is a city that's on the move and adapts to global economic developments. But during the first months of this year, the crisis set the tone. The economy collapsed. The city-state was hit hard. Orders were cancelled, and nobody was buying in the luxury shops. Yeah. Mechers had never seen earnings plummet that way before. The firm from Bremen markets luxury watches in Singapore. And sales were down by more than 30 percent. Fewer and fewer Europeans and Americans are coming to Singapore to shop and go on vacation. Regional tourism is down as well. And you could also see that ordinary people from Singapore are traveling less. Some of our customers have had to tighten their belts and think twice before they spend money on luxury items. Good morning. How are you? Mechers employs 130 people in Singapore. Jeffrey, good morning. morning How are you? I'm doing fine. Oh, All the things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Philippine? Philippines. Your project? The trading company not only sells watches, okay. they also market high tech appliances and manage projects. In some cases, a handshake is still key to clinching deals. Okay. Building confidence is an important factor in doing business here, perhaps even more important than it is in Europe. And how do you build trust? Over time. It's really a matter of time. Melchers is always on the go. He still uses a car. Unlike other Asian cities, the traffic has yet to come to a complete standstill in Singapore. He has an appointment at a maintenance company near the airport. It's okay. It tests aircraft parts. The market is a promising one for Mechers, and he wants to get the lion's share for his firm. He's just sold a mobile x-ray machine. The contract is valued at about 300,000 euros, and that's probably just the beginning. The aeronautics markets are a bit less risky than retailing luxury items. Singapore stands for safety and dependability. That's why we have a lot of firms like this one. They repair aircraft for regional airlines, for example, Air Malaysia or Vietnam Airlines. Specifically, they test key engine parts, and the customer wants to be quite certain that the service is right and quality delivered. Melchior's job is to solve problems explore new fields of business and direct the company. The economic crisis has meant increased pressure. He says the last few months have been tough. So re of Nobody has been fired, but the emphasis has been shifted. Now the magic word is green technology. Singapore wants to become an environmental technology leader in Asia. Melchior's reacted early to the change in trend. He drives a natural gas-powered car, and together with partners, he's setting up Singapore's first natural gas filling station. He can use his know-how for the entire Asia-Pacific region. Malaysia and Thailand, for example, are also interested in environmentally friendly technologies. This natural gas filling station is the biggest in the world. That makes me very proud, even though I know you can't keep the record long. We've converted 1,500 vehicles from gasoline engines to run on biofuel. They're hybrid gasoline natural gas vehicles. Blazing new trails is routine here. That's why Alexander Melchers likes living and working in Singapore. People seldom take breaks. And the government has said, now the crisis is over and growth is starting again.